when we have two different ways to refer to the same object, that's called aliasing. So aliasing in programs is similar to the way we think about aliasing in spycraft. You might not be able to tell from my drawing, but this is James Bond. And we can refer to James Bond either by his name, James Bond, or by his spy name, 007. Both of those are ways to refer to the same person. If something happens that changes the state of James Bond, so instead of pleasantly enjoying a martini like he is now, the bad guys are after him, and he grabs his gun and is no longer so happy, well, that affects the state of both James Bond and 007. Both names refer to the same person, so whatever state that person has is true for both names. Aliasing for variable names has the same property. So if we have two variable names that refer to the same object, any change we make to the object P refers to also affects the value that Q refers to. So if you did an assignment using P to change the value in the second position on P, that also changes the value the name Q refers to. So if we do an assignment like this, where instead of changing the value of one of the cells that's part of the P object, we assign P to a new value, well, this assignment would create a new object, a list containing three elements, the numbers 0, 0, 007, and it will change what the variable P refers to to point to that new object. The value of Q is the same as it was before. It still points to the same object, which we haven't modified.